So I think we have a special. I, I think we have a special guest uh, visitor coming uh, who would like a job with with uh, our firm. And so we're going to see how this first interview goes with our prospective Yay. candidate, who I think is arriving any moment. <laughs> All right. Hi, uh, my name's Jim. Hi. Hi. Uh, uh, what was your name again? Uh, oh, I'm Renee. Renee, nice to meet you, Renee. Why don't you have a seat? Yeah. Thanks for coming in today. Uh, Renee, would you have copies of your resume with you? Oh, dang it. You know what? My printer was broken at home, and I just I couldn't get them printed out. Okay. You know, I, I think I have them in here. Do you think you could? <laughs> yeah. Do you think you could print them out for me? Uh, you know, I don't think we're able to do that for you at this point. Oh, well, you should have a copy of my resume, right? Uh, okay, so, uh, <laughs> so, you know, Renee, just why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh, well. And uh, here we are. Um, okay. I, I, uh, oh, thanks for the water. Um, I was born in California, and oh, I still have my sunglasses on. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> you know, I was trying to be prepared and everything. Um, and uh, let's see. I went to mm -hmm. high school in Westminster, and uh, I was okay. really involved in school and. I uh, was the president of my class, and um, gosh, I went to college, but I didn't finish. And um, uh, I have two kids, and um, yeah, like they're amazing. They're really. Do you have kids? I, I do. Oh, uh, cool. Thanks for asking. Yeah, cool. Uh, so, a anything else you want to know? Yeah, uh, maybe you could tell me a little bit about your strengths and weaknesses. My strengths. Well, I'm a great multitasker. You know, like I, I can do okay. so many things all at one time. I could see that. <laughs> really? You could tell that already? Yeah. Uh, cool. Cool. Um, strengths. Gosh, you know, I don't, I don't really have very many strengths other than that. I, I'm, okay. I'm really working on my strengths. Uh-huh. And, and weaknesses, would you say? Oh, man, I'm not, I'm not very uh, punctual. Like, I'm really trying so hard to be on time to things, but, uh, okay. you know, I have a hard time getting up when my alarm clock goes off, and I'm just, you know, I'm just really struggling. But uh -huh. I, I'm working on it. I'm really okay. working on understand. it. understand, yeah. understand. Well, maybe you can tell me a little bit about your salary expectations for this position. Oh, wow. You know, man, whatever you pay. Like, I, I'm desperate for a job. Yeah. Uh, whatever you're willing to okay. pay me, I'll take. Okay. I would totally will uh, take it. And, you know, minimum wage is fine. Totally fine. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, well, that's about all I have. But uh, do you have any questions for me? Oh, that was quick. Um, <laughs> questions. Um, oh. I know I should have some questions. I just really can't think of any right now. Okay. Uh, but... Are we done? Yeah, well, if you do think of any, feel free to reach out to me afterwards. Okay, okay. I will. And I uh, appreciate okay. you coming in. Oh, wow. Okay. Thank, oh, so thank you. Oh, uh, <laughs> thank you. All right, give it up for a first second. <laughs> okay, clearly there's a lot of what not to do here, right? Now, as, as Jim, uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't contain myself. Um, as, as Jim was saying, these are, these are not things I made up. These are all things that have happened to me over and over and over. I've been interviewing people for 30 years. So let's just have some audience participation. What not to do? Hands up. Yeah, go for it. Like a ton of stuff. A ton of messy stuff, too. Yeah. Happens all the time. Yeah, it makes a really bad first impression, right? Yeah, how, how would you score me on my first impression? It was terrible, right? Jim already decided he wasn't going to hire me, he saw me tracing it. Yes, I did. Malik. You were not poised coming in, you were just like all over the place. Yeah, I was probably late, too. Yeah, exactly. You didn't have any follow up questions. No follow-up questions. Basic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That happens 85% of the time, by the way. Yes. People just are not prepared. Yeah. You didn't have your uh, resume? No resume. Mm -hmm. uh, some reason. We always have reasons. Yeah. yeah, go to the library, go to your school, mm -hmm. go to your neighbor. Don't show up to a res uh, an interview without a resume. Yeah. We'll um, just go down the road here. Oh, uh, <laughs> you, you know, you talked, you said your age right off the bat, and then um, 
you were mm -hmm. talking about things that had nothing to do with the job. Exactly. Right, right. Yeah. People all the time tell me their age. I don't want to know their age. Yeah. yeah. I think mean, you made them uncomfortable by asking them, do you have kids too? Yeah. Oh, In, inappropriate question. I asked one question that was inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, your movement, you're all over the place. I'm all the over the place. Stress me out. So like, <laughs> I, I, I talk about water. 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 I'm prepared, right? Do you know how many people show up with a Starbucks cup? Oh, I want to no. say, did you do homework? Oh, ever, ever, ever show up to an interview with a Starbucks cup or any kind of coffee <laughs> other than maybe a thing of water that should be in your purse? That's just a potential for an accident right there. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, you came in with your headphones still on. Yeah. Your sunglasses on, and you didn't take them off until after you sat down yeah. into the interview. It happens <laughs> all the time. Um, I think uh, everybody covered everything, but I think one thing would be, um, I think it was just like the constant, I don't know. Fidgeting. Like, Fidgeting, yeah, right. Fidgeting. Fidgeting. The, you know, the heavy breathing, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I raced it because I was late. <laughs> yes, Don. Yeah, you should have been dressed more professionally. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, let's one. talk about dress. What's wrong? Okay, uh, I could show up to midweek like this, right? No big deal. <laughs> well, maybe not with all the spending. Okay, what's wrong? Let's, let's pick it apart. What is wrong for an interview with the way I'm dressed? Uh, open-toed shoes and then loose good ones. Sparkly sandals, open-toed yeah. shoes. Never go to an interview with sparkle ladies. Ever, 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 ever. No sparkle. We call it bling. But. Yeah, no bling. <laughs> it's not the time. Maybe it's a bling environment later, but not in the interview. Uh, yes, open-toed shoes. Yeah. A lot of um, arms and uh, posits. Just uh, um, um, no, yeah. Not sure, sure. No. No. No uh, consistency in my <coughs> conversation. Yeah. We were talking about dress. Let's let's pick that apart for a minute. What? Like, this is for ladies. Are just a little bit. Large. Yeah. <coughs> not a little bit large. Yeah. No. No. These do not belong in an interview. Yes. Okay. This does not belong in an interview. We show up with too much bling. Okay. I'm not going to pick apart Shelly, but I am going to mention her nails. Shouldn't She should not go to an interview with those nails, okay? Ladies, long nails, lots of color. You don't, you don't know what that interviewer is looking for. So, yes, okay? What else? Um, your shirt is on side. I got, I got way too much going on here. Layers. Yeah, keep Layers. it simple. Yes, Andrew. Uh, jeans. Uh, yeah, they're they're not jeans, but yes, too way too casual, right? Let, figure that out. Yeah. It's very like loose. Like, loose. Very loose clothes. Am I professionally like, dressed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. No, uh, this yeah. is not professional. Okay. What else? Anything else? Jim's gonna wrap yep. you up there. Go ahead. You gotta do your thing. Yeah. Let's keep keep going. There are a couple other things I think we can pick up. Yeah, Jared. Posture. Yes. Posture is a big one. Right, when your interview, as Renee talked about, if you're coming slouchy and you're all over the place versus you're confident, you're upright, makes a big difference. So posture, yeah, system. Um, she wasn't selling herself when she was asked about her strengths and That's a great one. Yeah, like she talked about earlier, Renee was talking about, you know, talk about your strengths and weaknesses, be able to do it confidently but not boasting. Weaknesses, there's a way to phrase maybe some things we're not great at without being like, oh, I'm a total loser, right? It's <laughs> a good, good way to do that. Kiana? But tell me about yourself. question is not about your history and all that. It's about your work experience. Right. Keep it applicable to work, things that would apply to your job, relevant value you've added in prior positions, that stuff. Great. Yeah. Uh, she kept touching her face and didn't like look her in the eye. She was like, um. <laughs> great one. Yep, it's that fidgeting, comes across sloppy, undisciplined, all over the place. Good one, yeah. Oh, she forgot to introduce herself. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. She didn't, you know, it's always, even if they know who you are, it's always good to say hi, you know, I'm Renee, it's nice to meet you. Even though you know, because they're obviously in your interview, so. Uh, but it's like at the hospital, how many times they check your name when you're in the hospital? Like, every time they come in, what's your name? Okay, match it to your wrist. Ask your mother's maiden name. It's like they want to make sure they know who you are. <laughs> Same thing in the interview. Communicate. All right. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, she, yeah. she wasn't slow to discuss compensation. Okay. The whole compensation piece. She just, yeah. I'm desperate for a job. <laughs> I'll take minimum wage, please. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Two more, and then we're going to keep going. Yep. Well, thinking about the 
getting any amount of coffee before an interview, especially when you're that close and giving your feedback back. Ooh, you know, that's a great, a great point. I hadn't thought of that, but you're right. Are you aware of your breath? Maybe if you have too much perfume or not, you know, just being aware of how you smell and present yourself. That's a great one. Great one. All right, one more. Zach? Uh, honestly, it didn't look like she wanted to be in the interview. Ooh. Like, it looked like she just wanted to like get through it and like just get the job like already get it. Like, she just was like, yep. I'm desperate, I just want to already do it. And then she even said I'm done. <laughs> right. But, uh, and then eager to go, like, okay, we're you done here? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. disinterested. <laughs> stuff to do. <laughs> right. All right. So it's amazing in that what did that take? Two minutes? Yeah. Isn't that amazing how much you can pick up in two minutes? Yeah. And like when they touched on that first impression. And remember that first class Chantel talked about first impression? Yeah. I forget all the stats, but it's like in 20 seconds. Yeah. People make so many judgments about you yeah. that you set yourself up for failure. And as Renee talked about, she was mentioning to me earlier, she'll know if she's going to hire someone within a minute. 30 seconds. That first impression, she'll know. So that's how important that first impression is. So, uh, I think we have a new candidate for this job. Let's see if this candidate might be a better fit for our position. And at Acme Toy Company. Okay, here we go. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, I'm Renee. Renee, Jim. Jim, good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for coming in. Why don't you have a seat? Thanks for meeting with me. I appreciate it. Sure. Resume, would you, uh, Renee, I called you resume, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're equating my name with yeah, your resume. I am. Would you have a copy of your resume with Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Do you need a, another one? Is there anybody Can else? Can I, if you would, uh, thank sure. you. I did leave mine in, in my office, so. No worries. Terrific. Well, Renee, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Wow. Okay. Well, there's a lot I, I'm sure I could tell you, and if you have any questions about something specific, please don't you know, hesitate to interject. I think for the, what's important probably to you for this recruiting position is to um, know a little bit about my recruiting experience. Um, you'll notice at Exclusively Legal, I uh, recruited all levels of law firm personnel there and managed to maintain a, about an 85% okay. retention level. And uh, at Express, I recruited a high performance team that um, we helped to deliver uh, uh, great services from an okay. underperforming division to about 10 million. Oh, fantastic. And at Life Technologies, I recruited, uh, I was kind of known for recruiting the purple squirrels, you know, the, sure. the people that nobody else could find. Uh, so I have a great amount of recruiting experience I'd love to bring to your team. Okay, terrific. Sounds great. Uh, you know, tell me a little bit about your strengths and weaknesses. <clears throat> okay, well, um, I would start with my, probably my, my weakest area is uh, that I can take on too much and then I'm kind of a, mm -hmm. a person that likes to do things very well and then I get, I, I get stretched a little too thin and I find I'm not able to deliver. So okay. uh, I'm really working on that. And on the strength side, uh, people would say that I'm kind of a make it happen person. I'll go in, uh, figure out what our resources are and then get results. Terrific, okay, thank you. Yeah, you bet. Now about the, your salary expectations, uh, how do you mm -hmm. see that? You know, I'm, I'm really flexible uh, right now. I would just love to be uh, paid a fair and equitable market rate okay. uh, for my services and the talent that I bring to the, to the table. Okay, I think we can do that. Awesome. So that covers most of what I needed to know. Would you have any questions for me? Thank you for asking. I would love to know a little bit more about uh, what your guiding principles and beliefs are uh, and how you manage your team of people. What's important to you? Terrific. Well, what's important to me is that uh, I can rely on the person who would fill this position. Okay. Being dependable is important. And then how you communicate with people outside of our company to make sure you're representing our company in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Those are values that are really important to me as well. Uh, and all of my employers will say that I'm a, I deliver 150%. I'm very dependable and reliable. Oh, terrific. Cool. Well, if there's nothing else, then I, I think that uh, is what I needed to find out from okay. you today. Again, if you have any other questions, feel free to call me or email. And I uh, look forward to being in touch. Great. Do you have a card? I do. Perfect. Here's my card. Here's Thank my you. card. So Hi. Here's your card. <laughs> <laughs> I super appreciate your time. Thank you, Ray. I love that we're coordinated.
Because you don't want to feel like you're manipulating them. You do definitely want to be honest, but not too honest, especially if it impacts the job. Megan, my daughter, asked me if I was going to share this. But several years ago, she went on an interview for Starbucks, and they asked her what her weakness was. And she said, I'm not a good multitasker. <laughs> did she get the job? She did not get the job. <laughs> now, she learned from that, and she eventually got a job at Starbucks. But you don't want to be so mm. transparent that it would impact the job that you're interviewing for. Yeah. You're smiling the whole time. I'm smiling. Yeah. Warm. I'm friendly. Maybe I shouldn't be smiling all the time, but you know, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, use some words, uh, not fill in, but use appropriate words. Just needed just to finish the, each point. Mention like stretch too thin, and just end it at that. Mm -hmm. I started with my weaknesses. Why did I do that? Yeah. So you remember your strengths after, like yeah. the last thing you would talk about. Your if the last thing, if they say comment about your strengths and weaknesses, try to talk about your weakness first. Mm -hmm. Don't elaborate on your weakness, okay? Just quick and dirty. Yeah. I loved how you came in, like to meet him. It was really warm, and then you stepped back, like you gave him the mm -hmm. space. You waited for him to ask you to have a seat. It was, it was really almost like a, a nice flow. Okay. Good. Good flow. Uh, just when you uh, when you said tell tell me about yourself, you gave information that was relevant to the job position. Right. And I love how you ended it with I can bring this to your team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Show conviction if I'm yeah. interested in this job. Okay. Yeah. Um, I love how you thought about the answer to the questions. It didn't seem rehearsed. Like you took a little breath to think about it. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Genuine. Being Good. Mm -hmm. Yes, back there, uh, Don. Oh, I was actually going to say the same thing about how uh, you said when you were talking about yourself, like you even referred to your resume, like, yeah, this is what I did, mm -hmm. and this is how I can, I, I, I have helped my previous employers, and I can help you with this resume. Okay, good. Uh, I like how you use your strength to even counter your weakness. Like, mm -hmm. you were literally like, oh, well, uh, it can have trouble producing results, and then you were like, but I'm also a make-it-happen person who will just go in there, make it happen, and produce results on it. Like, I, <laughs> yeah. In your uh, your follow up question, it was like you wanted to see what you're going to get yourself into, and, and then you can know how to you know acclimate to that situation if you did get the job. And you want to reinforce what they share. It's your opportunity to reinforce that you have you also share that something similar. I got that you are a professional recruiter. You used words that only recruiters mm -hmm. would use. Ooh, that's a good point. The purple squirrel. Those kinds of um, that dialogue that uh, somebody in upper management would recognize that would come from a recruiter. Yeah, I mean you have to be very specific uh, to what you're interviewing for. I don't know if you meant to do this, um, but is it is it something good when you when you bring like that? Sometimes I I mean I like to I'm a connector so I'm always looking for ways to connect without being in their space but so yeah I do I do even when I handshake sometimes I handshake both hands just because it's it's more authentic um, but good point it, it's like it's kind of pertaining to the interview uh, process uh -huh. but um, also like sometimes like they don't want you to be all like up sturdy right. they want you to at least be like comfortable right. so like you're not like all like too stiff and like just being uptight. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I loved how you were yourself. Are you were very natural. Uh -huh. It's the Renee I know. Like oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> like, it wasn't fake, you know, but it was very professional, and you're just like, you're just yourself. Okay. One more thing. I love how you ended it. Um, you said, get in contact with me, and you asked him for his card. And you didn't miss out on that opportunity. Yeah, because then I'd have to go yeah. research how to contact him. And gatekeepers don't like to give out email addresses. <laughs> I just thought you were very uh, respectful and kind. Mm -hmm. okay. I think that says a lot because, you know, it can all be there on the resume right. somehow. Mm -hmm. you know. Your general yeah. spirit. Uh, right. I, I didn't use this in the last uh, illustration. I meant to have my phone. 
<laughs> don't bring your phone into an interview. You may think you turned it off, but there are notifications on our phones that go off anyway. And I meant oh, to do that, and, yeah, I, and I, I, I neglected it. But <clears throat> I also am very simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is how you should go into an interview. Whether you need to be this professionally dressed, I would, ladies, I would always wear a blazer. Mm -hmm. Always wear a blazer. I, I don't, it doesn't matter what job you're interviewing for. If you're wearing jeans, wear a blazer. It just make, it gives you that added. It's very different than a sweater, mm, right? Yeah. Men too, wear a jacket, okay? Uh, even if it's jeans and a white shirt and a jacket. Um, but be simple. You don't need all that stuff. You don't need to bring in your purse. If you have your keys, you know, sometimes I'll have just a small little wallet purse that I'm able to, to set aside. But um, men have pockets, you know, just less distraction. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. yeah. I like the fact how you uh, came in equipped for um, how you were equipped uh, behavioral and like questions and how you came in a, in a professional and timely manner. Like it really goes show like how bad like you want the job. Yeah. So like you like you were like selling yourself in a professional uh, manner. So yeah. Ten minutes early. Uh, job interviews you should be there right. ten minutes early. It gives you a chance to sit in the lobby. Hear what's going on. It, it just is informational. Last one, yeah. I appreciated uh, you had your re resumes ready and you asked if someone else was joining, which shows that you were extremely prepared. That even if two, three people were there, that you would have, they each would be able to have their own resume. Okay. From you. Awesome. And I want to share with you. Always bring a pad and paper. Okay. You <laughs> want to write down uh, your own notes, but guess what? I haven't had to be interviewed very often. I wrote down my notes, bullets that I wanted to convey about this recruiting job to remind me of what to say. Mm -hmm. So I talk all the time and I needed to do that. You guys need to do that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else? I have one more question. Yeah. When you arrive early to an interview and you're sitting in the lobby, like what should you do? Uh, I, that's a really good question. So no more than 10 minutes, 15, 20, it's just like too much, but you know, a good 10 minutes, you just engage with the receptionist. Mm -hmm. Uh, engage with somebody in the lobby. Don't be overly talkative, but just be warm and friendly. In my office, the receptionist weighs in on the interviewers, or the interview. Okay, they give me their feedback. Were they warm and friendly? Could they fit in our culture? Are they a good hire? Were they on their phone? Were they nasty to some? You know how many people are sitting in the lobby having a personal phone conversation that reflects something about them? Ooh, wow. okay, just don't do that. Okay. <laughs> company literature is in the lobby too. Yeah, company literature, their posters. We, you learn so much uh, while you're sitting in the lobby. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Are they appropriate in length? 
Do they use weird slang? Do they have good grammar? We don't want any ain'ts and, and you know, don'ts and, you know, you want to use good grammar. Um, their presence, how, how do they present themselves? Are they professional? Do they give a firm handshake? Do they look you in the eyes? Um, <clears throat> are they talking too loudly? You know, sometimes they don't want to like, you know, um, and are they fidgeting and nervous? And they've got all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, are they confident? What's their attitude like? Are they at ease? Are they enthusiastic? Are they appropriate? Um, do they have, are they kind and pleasant? Uh, and are, you know, do they ask good questions? Are they assertive? And then there's some questions down at the bottom that you guys are going to ask each other. We're just going to practice, okay? And if you don't have a good answer, then let your teammate help you formulate a good answer. Tell me about yourself. You can turn to the back side of the interview workshop right here. And there's a sample, uh, tell me about yourself tips. So if you're struggling, how to tell, just decide what job you're interviewing for. And there, there's like a, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, <laughs> words you can use. Okay, any questions about this? So we're going to break up. We've got about a half hour to work on this. Each interview should take, you know, 10 or so minutes. You can interview again if you want. You know, just, it's about practicing. So it's not wrong or right now. So, some of the, so it's the, the end of the, uh, so everybody's getting interviewed in the group or uh -huh. just the uh, mentor interviewing? The interview? No, everybody, so everybody is getting interviewed. So you can also play the role of an interviewer because there's only one mentor. And so we don't want to take that much time. So we're going to have to have a few people step up and be the interviewer and then step into the interviewee. Does that make sense? Good question. Thanks for clarifying. Sweet. Yeah. Did you pick what company you're working on? Yeah. Just decide, you know, what he said, Acme Toy Company. Great. But you pick the job you're interviewing for. So then that way you can bring your relevant examples. All right. Any other questions? These are the questions we ask. Yeah. As the, uh -huh. as the interviewer, these are the questions that you're going to ask. And as the interviewee, these are the questions you're going to answer. They're just some basic questions. And then just give each other a score. You know, that's if you want to. It's no big deal. Okay. Perfect. You've got about 25, 28, 30 minutes max. Um, we all brought up a really good question that I did not address. So I want to make sure that we touch on this. How many of you guys, you don't have to raise your hand, but I'll raise my hand. Um, a lot of us have been released from our jobs for one reason or another, myself included. When that comes up in a job interview, that's a tough question to answer. Why did you leave that job? Why are you no longer there? Okay. So make sure you rehearse that question ahead of time. Okay, if you've been released from a job, make sure you re you rehearse that question. Be as vague as you can initially. Like try one round of vague. So if I say, Jennifer, why were you released from that job? You can say back to me, you know, it just wasn't really a very good fit. Mm -hmm. If your interviewer probes, then well, what wasn't a good fit? Mm -hmm. Then you you have to go there. Okay, you got to be honest. Part of humility in learning from our mistakes. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you've learned from that mistake. Okay? And, and I said, well, so what well, wasn't a good fit? And a lot of times a response sounds something like this. Well, can I be honest? Can I be completely honest and transparent? Thank you. I was really struggling with getting up on time, and I was party on uh, multiple days. And, and so that was a job that I really needed to be on time. And <coughs> since then, that was two jobs ago, since then I've completely turned that around. Now I have three alarms, I have not been late one time in my most recent position, and I really made that change. Um, but I'm, I'm sad to say that's the reason. Okay? So try to, try to not go there, but if they probe, just be honest. But you have to be honest in a way that says, I changed that. It shows that you can... See something about yourself, take responsibility, and change. Okay? So, uh, feedback from there. What did you learn? What did you get? 
What did you get from the interview? Yeah. I think one huge thing is that when you go into the interview, you know your strength and weaknesses right away. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because uh, you're gonna ask, you're gonna be asked that question. Almost always. Always. Mm -hmm. You know, I think uh, just one of the guy I interviewed mm -hmm. today, like it was just like, oh, I want to get back to that question. But that's like the key question they want to look at because that's what they really want to hire for the company. Yes. You have to make sure you know what strengths of yours. Uh, are relevant to the job you're you're interviewing for. So if you're interviewing for a security guard and you're going to be alone all night, walking, pacing, and somebody says, "What are your strengths?" You don't want to say, "I'm a people person. I love to be around people. I yeah. need to talk to people all the time." Like, yeah, that would not be an appropriate <laughs> strength, right? You want to have your strength be something relevant to the job you're interviewing for. Now, what else did you learn? Great point. Uh. Uh, even for a mock interview, like nervousness is a real thing. It's real, right? I realized, like, as soon as I sat <laughs> down, I'm like, oh no. Like, <laughs> my, my, uh, my, my posture and just, it just, I knew what, I knew what it would feel right, but I knew if I just started trying to fix it, it would look weird too. So I just like, I just like ran with it, and then um, I kept saying um. <laughs> it's really hard. You have to like actually practice stuff you say, otherwise you're gonna say I'm a lot. Yes. The struggle right. is real. The front row could probably tell. I was like, you know, a little like out of breath, even in my mock interview, right? It's a real thing. Practice with your roommates, practice with your mom, practice with whoever will just ask you questions, okay? Yeah. Oh sorry. Go ahead, Stephanie, if you did Oh, did you not? I, I, it, I learned a lot, and I, I really learned a lot about Brenda, and I admire her, and I think that she'll do well whatever she does. Awesome. It was a great opportunity to connect with my sister. Very cool. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah, I learned a lot about like using like, power words instead mm -hmm. of like, using words like like. Like uh, people use that word a lot in uh, belief. Like it was different. It was different. I used it.
but I was going to make an important <coughs> business call, and I practice my voicemail. So I just speak into my phone and leave myself a voicemail. And then I play it back, and I see how I sound. And I do that a lot, because I don't want to sound stupid. I don't want, I, I can't hear all the likes and nods that I say myself. So do that. Just practice. Take these questions, practice, and listen to yourself to play back. Yeah. Uh, I had a question. Uh, I did notice while the interviewer is writing notes or whatever he's doing, right? Um, do you lose eye contact while he's doing that? Because I think that's a lot of people do that. Like they can like look somewhere. Just just be conscious of it. Just jot, make it short when you're jotting a <coughs> note. Just make it short and try not to lose eye contact. So you know you might you might lose eye contact a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, when you're like, it's okay, it's okay. When you are in an interview and you're constantly have eye contact, you would be kind of like, like, Let me just tell you if you're interviewing with me and you're nervous, just tell me. Just say, I really, I don't really interview very often, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> the biggest takeaway for me is uh, the time that you shared letting us know kind of the behind the scenes what's going on in your mind as a person who hires um, from last week there were takeaways that were just you know taking in mind that there are people that are homeless that are looking for jobs you know, today you mentioned dressing like one level up mm -hmm. because not all of us have arrived, right? Yeah. And so you totally gave me that reassurance that the people that are inter interviewing us, they generally have somebody in mind, mm -hmm. but they realize that people aren't always going to walk through the door where they need them to be. Absolutely. So I appreciate that from you so much because none of us, I, I, I mean, we're just not going to be perfect in the interview and it just helped me just to feel like, okay, you know what, I'm just going to be myself. Be yourself. But, but take seriously some of the interview tips. And don't be afraid, guys, to apply to positions right now that you're not totally qualified for. I'm very serious. Yeah. Employers are hiring for <coughs> soft skills because the hard skills are not available. So this is a time right now to uptick your experience. Okay, one more question. Yeah, Andrew, or comment. Sorry. Um, I have a question. Okay. If you're about to go in an interview, would it be appropriate to wear the appointment? Nope. Take it off. <laughs> yeah. Please take it off. Simplify. Simplify your presentation. You, again, you don't want to give them things to ask questions about. I said a question about the follow up. You said when you have an interview and then you send them a, you send them a letter or you send them an email. Bare minimum is an email. If you're close enough, I always keep thank you notes in my car. So uh, if I even have a, a business meeting and they spend, and I want to say thank you and I want to make an impression, I'll go out to my car, write a personal note, mm -hmm. and pop it back on the receptionist. I don't ask for them again, I just leave it with the receptionist. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I that with thank you notes. Like, they say sometimes you, you have a phone in the viewers, uh -huh. right? whatever. So when they're in a different place, should you send an email? email like that, send it? Just send an email. Okay. If you just make sure you always have their email contact. Mm -hmm. yeah. Email bare minimum 100% of the time because they can search on your email. They can't search on your. So you, if you have not had any communication with that company via email, then you definitely want to send an email. But if you've been communicating with them, a, a handwritten note really stands out. Okay. I think I'm out of time. Let's give it up.